All right, Mr. D, let's talk about some birds as pest. Yeah, that's kind they of, can be pest. Huh? And, and that's kind of, it's kind of bad that sometimes they're a pest because we try to attract them. We have bird feeders and, and, and but, but they can be a pest, especially when you are growing fruit mm. and blueberries, especially they will, they will completely wipe out your blueberry planting. Okay. And so what I try to do is plant enough for me and the birds, and, <laughs> sure. and try to beat them to it. You right. know, I, I try to try to beat them to it. But, but there are things that that will give you some relief. Uh, the 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 best thing and the only thing that I know of that is pretty much 100% effective is exclusion mm. using bird netting. If you have uh, small enough plants, two or three plants that you can put. Uh, you know, post around and completely cover it with bird netting, mm -hmm. a real thin netting, then that will work. And uh, you may have one, even then you may have one that somehow gets in there uh, every once in a while, but but uh, exclusion is the only thing that I know of that will completely work. One thing you can't do, you can't kill them, you can't shoot them. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, you about know, that. You, yeah. uh, songbirds are protected mm -hmm. by They're law. Protected. Okay. So, you, you know, the 12 year old with a 20 gauge <laughs> shotgun, BB gun, forget it, you can't. It don't work. You can't uh, shoot songbirds. Uh, there are other birds that you can that are not classified as songbirds. Uh, some of the blackbirds, cowbirds, uh, are considered pests, and they're not considered songbirds, even though they sing. You know, oh. but, uh, but some you know you need to check local regulations uh, where that's concerned. But exclusion is by far the best way to to keep them out if you can fig if if you don't have a very very large planting a very large planting. Uh, then you need to go with, uh, there, you can use sounds, frightening devices. Mm. There are propane cannons that uh, you hook up to a propane tank and yeah. every so often it'll build up pressure and then it will make a loud noise, exploding noise. Owls, the, the, oh. the plastic owls, you can put them around. Mylar tape you can that flashes in the sunlight, you uh -huh. can hang that around in different places. Uh, anytime with with all of those, you you have to change it from time to time. Yeah. A radio blaring, <laughs> uh, especially with country music, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll chase them. We'll, we'll do a pretty music, good job okay. of chasing them off. <laughs> and you can switch channels, right. uh, but uh, you've got to you know put a radio in a. I, I have a radio <laughs> in a uh, like an outdoor patio storage box okay. to keep it dry. And and it's pretty effective. Mm -hmm. um, so, and because the voices change, and yeah, you know, you go from the DJ to the music right. and all that, and right. so it's, it's it's not something that they it lasts pretty good because it's not something they get can get used to as easily. Yeah, plastic snakes. Uh, plastic snakes. Mm -hmm. uh, any kind around. of predator. Right. Uh, uh, if you can find a plastic red-tailed hawk. Uh, that you can set up on a tree, and, but the but and the, and the owl, you know, move them around sure. because if they see it sitting there all the time, they go, "Hey, well, he's not going to bother me." But but uh, those are all uh, things that you, 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 to be successful, you've got to be persistent, and, and you've got to be use use a lot of different things, right. you know, uh, diverse, and 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 uh, and then. You know, you're going to have some damage. Be prepared to tolerate a little bit of damage. Now, what about when they start building nests? How do you go about dealing with them then? The the time the only time that I see nests is a problem is is uh, if they stop up your gutters and things like that. Now, I have uh, seen swallows. They'll build a mud nest up around yeah. your your light fixtures mm -hmm. in your garage and your carport. That's where the snakes really come in handy. If oh. where the nest is, close to where the nest is, if you will put a good lifelike looking rubber snake, or a live snake for that <laughs> instance, you know, <laughs> up there, that will, uh, that, I think that will they, will, they will, they will think twice about doing that again. And I've, I actually, uh, uh, if, wrapped a snake around the light fixture oh. that swallows kept building their nest in and they didn't, they didn't do that anymore. Of course, you, you have neighbors that, you know, folks, friends that come in, they almost have a heart attack when they look up there and see the snake up there. But uh, it keeps the birds out. Right. But uh, that's probably the best thing for, for, uh, for a nest. Wherever a nest, I mean, that's a st stationary location. You can put something there that scares the bird uh, that, that should do the trick.
Do they, uh, any structural damage that you know of that they may uh, woodpeckers, do or cause? Woodpeckers can create, can, can damage your, uh, your, if you have a wooden uh, western cedar house or mm -hmm. a wooden house, they can get out there and they can, they can peck holes in it. And most of the time what they're doing is a mating ritual. Right. And, uh, but, but same thing, you know, uh, owl or, or uh, something you can move around. Yeah, right. some, something right. makes some noise because they're relatively shy. Uh -huh. You know, uh, woodpeckers are, are shy, but uh, a radio or something like that can. can uh, you can like have, that radio deal? I like the radio <laughs> deal. I've got to give With uh, the country music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My uh, Dave Keaty gave me that idea when he was successful at keeping raccoons from eating his sweet corn with a, a radio in his garden, then Dave, thank you for that idea because right. uh, I use it all the time. So, yeah, I'm a, I guess yeah, I'm, a, I'm a music fan. <laughs> <laughs> He's a music fan. Yeah. Before we wrap it up, Mary, is there anything that you, know, you want to add about songbirds or do you know much about them? Or? Sure, yeah, the only thing I would add is if you're gonna discourage the nesting, do it right when you first start seeing them nest before they start laying eggs, things like that. And it's just like Dee was saying about the um, against the law to kill the birds, you can't really remove those nests either once they have eggs and young in them. So um, get your fake predators out there early. So it has to be done early. Mm -hmm. Yep, they are protected. Just right. remember that. So yeah, you can't shoot them, so we definitely right. wanna. You know, bring that up again. All right. All right. We appreciate that information, Mr. D. Right. Good deal. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.